Hi, this is Jaya Sabe from Texan Magazine, and I'm Mr. Pranay Mishra, uh, CEO of uh, 3G Telecom. Sir, how are you? I'm doing good. Uh, so okay. tell us about yourself, your company. You know, like 3G Telecom India is a first and uh, a private limited company in terms of end-to-end -end backhaul management. We have basically uh, two different licenses from government. We have one is uh, IP1 license and one we have an ISP license. So what we're basically doing is today if you see we have 12 different uh, managed service uh, providers and partners. We have 14 service providers, telecom service providers. Then you have eight different tower companies. So if you see the uh, whole uh, telecom ecosystem, the current issues are on the backhaul and backbone side. You don't have a separate fiber uh, owned company. So we are a fiber owned company. What we do is we build the infrastructure and then we lease out or sale for one time outright sale, and, you know, probably in terms of IIU basis. And this is the way we are doing it. So what we are doing is we are saying that we are only the backhaul fiber, uh, you know, managed service partner. Okay. Because uh, in India there is no such managed service partner who is only on fiber. Again, what's your focus on LTE? Uh, what we're doing is because LTE, uh, if you see uh, Huawei, CTE, Anasin, Ericsson, everybody is trying to upgrade the BTS to BSC to MSC because they do uh, the end-to-end -end managed services for the production solutions what they're selling out. Whereas tower companies, they're trying to build a number of towers. They're trying to increase the towers because in terms of coverages so that you have an excellent seamless coverage for LTE. So what we are doing is because the backhaul piece is still left, so nobody is building the back hall. Mm -hmm. So we are concentrating end-to-end -end infrastructure. Okay. So we are only building the back hall. We are building more duct fiber. We are building more ducts so that uh, our concept is RPUF and RPUD. When I say RPUF, it's average revenue per unit fiber. If I have 96 fiber, what is that revenue I'm getting from one fiber? So how many customers can I board more on my fiber? And how many ducts do I have? Do I have 10 ducts? Do I have 4 ducts? Do I have 6 ducts? What duct space can I give? Can I lease the duct space or can I sell the duct space? So that's how my organization works. Okay, so and how soon uh, can we see LTE rollout? Well, I think uh, LTE rollout will take minimum 12 months from now. Uh, 2012 quarter 3 should be ready. That's how, because uh, 3G, look, LTE is again uh, uh, only in top 50 to 60 cities because today uh, I would, when you stand in the shoe of a normal Indian customer, if I give my cell phone, which is a smartphone to my grandparents, they can only take a call uh, by pressing the green button and disconnect a call right. by pressing a red button. They even don't know what are the applications. LTE should not be the same. Uh, if you're trying to launch an LTE service, then you need to try to leverage this LTE properly with a killer application. Because uh, if you go to, probably if you go to rural area, I would urge and I would request the service providers that don't play only in the ground of urban. Because there everybody is playing. So take a risk, then you have really, really profits. You go a little bit interior and see how exactly a rural customer is struggling. Because if you go, that is the gateway to the rural citizen to the other part of the world. Because what happenings are uh, happening in the other part of India or else in the other part of the world, a rural guy doesn't know. A white collar job guy like me or a corporate uh, persons might be knowing these oil technologies. But a rural guy is still unaware. He is an agricultural man. So we should probably make some killer application which can be in an excellent vehicular language which he is probably able to use, then we can try to move in that way. This is my uh, view. Okay, and what would be the selling point for LTE? Like for, for example, for 3G, it was video call, video call. Everybody was promoting video call. You can have video call, you can surf, you know, in high, high speed surfing. I would say the best uh, thing for LTE is, is a killer application. You need to have applications on your uh, dongle or on your cell phone. It's not that today if I'm using an LTE dongle, do you expect me to use a Yahoo Mail or a Gmail, which I can even still use a 2G dongle and still access those emails. Right. So you should say, and the important thing is, in India, because LTE is a bandwidth factory, it's a bandwidth factory. So today the problem is child's concern. 
parents like me or parents like anybody else in India, if you see youth who's from 15 to 22, that age is a little, you know, fluctuating age. So they go and uh, you know, try to access some XXX website. So try to bring some vast services on LTE with a killer application and say that this is a child plan. So a primary plan is with the parent and a child plan is with a, uh, and the secondary plan is with, uh, is being associated with child. So that whenever he or she is accessing it, whenever he or she is going to some XXX website, you get a pop-up message at the back side that your dad doesn't want to see this website right. or your mom doesn't want to see this website. Right. So that in this way, you can stop all the nonsense things which are happening and promote because this will for sure add a value add service on a killer application. The other thing uh, I would say is traffic. In India, if you see traffic, it's terrible. Okay. So there is no traffic sense, well, transportation and bus. They stand for long hours at the bus shelters, at the bus stations. They even don't know that this bus is going to come at 2 o'clock or it's okay, 2 o'clock bus got delayed. Now it's going to come and reach at 2.45. Make an application and try to put that application on a TV screen there so that customer knows, okay, there is a huge traffic down the line there and this is going to take a little time. So I think I need to take a, you know, second mode of transportation, is it a train or an auto or whatever the local transportation is. Right. Okay, thank you very much for sharing. Thank you. Thank you.